ROG fans have some new hardware to look forward to this year. Asus has a brand new gaming desktop called the ROG GL12. This is not the first time, obviously, that the company has made desktops for the ROG sub-brand. This is a redesign, and it features AuraSync technology for these blinking LED lights that now work across both the desktops and the laptops. So if you're having a gaming party at your home and your friends bring their ROG laptops over, you can sync up your lights to show the same colors, and you'll feel your team spirit super strong. Another new feature is under the magnetic cover that you can remove now, there is a hot swappable SSD tray, so you can take it out and remove it. We tried this part out <laughs> here that was really easy to use. The rest of the internals are also slightly reorganized. They've moved the motherboard over to the center a little bit by one millimeter and that allows them to organize the cables behind it. This is important because now it looks neater because you can see through the transparent side panel. It all together looks very kind of zen. If you're a neat freak like I am, this is going to be more pleasing on the eyes. There's also a little bit of a change in the way they've positioned the fans. The tower is now cut in half, so the top houses the graphics card and the CPU. The bottom is more for the power. Uh, system as well as a hard drive and each of those sections has its own fan, one's in the front, one's in the back and on the bottom and on the top respectively. Speaking of the CPU, here is an 8th generation Intel Core i7K series so it's overclockable as well up to 4.8 gigahertz. The graphics card here is NVIDIA's GeForce GTX 1080 series which should provide a lot of power for even the most hardcore of gamers. The GL12 will be available starting in February for a beginning price of $9.99. Obviously your configuration will affect the pricing so hey, if you're looking to light up your gaming parties with your CPU and your laptops, maybe this one's something to check out later this year. So for more information out of CES 2018, stay tuned to Engadget.com.